Hey guys, welcome back to Detroit Garage. It's uh, dino day. Got the dino set up in the shop this time. Uh, yeah, so basically everything's set up. I haven't started it yet, so we'll do the first start together. It's got 9085s in it, so I'm not sure how any of this is going to go, but uh, yeah, pretty happy with it. Uh, gauges this time around. I still have to get that tack hooked up. I do apologize, guys. I have figured it out. I just have to drill a hole in the flywheel housing and uh, put in the sensor. So I tested it on the edge of the flywheel on the ring gear and it worked really nice. So next dyno session, we'll have that. We still have the digital tack the torque gauge and I added oil temp uh, and air box pressure here so I'll label those so it's easier to see uh, in future so I'll get put you guys down and we'll fire Jimmy up yeah in future we'll get a better uh, a better view of this I'll do a quick check make sure I haven't left anything so it's a lot nicer doing this in the shop. Nice and toasty warm. <clears throat> Got the oil heater just blasting away. And the shop's about 70 degrees. So really nice. systems to fail haha <laughs> we'll have to plan something different there so I'll just open the door and uh, take this vent system off
have it guys that was uh that was the 90 e85s so yeah 20 foot pounds more so 440 to 450 foot pounds which was a boost from the uh 80 millimeter injectors so i pulled 420 with those I'm running into another issue though, and that's I'm overwhelming the pump. So I can't pull the RPM down with a full load of water. I'll go have a look at this pump and see. It's supposed to have a 45 PSI feed to the, uh, the uh, dyno, and I'm only getting about 25. So I'm not getting enough water pressure to load up that, uh, the dyno. But anyway, that's uh, baby steps. Uh, so far, success. The uh, the vent, of course, it it uh, separates the vent up there. So I'll have to put my thinking cap on for that one. So bring the muffler down and uh, root it out the door, or get uh, six inch tin and run it right through to the ceiling. Get rid of the uh, exhaust fan and vent it right out the ceiling. Um, I may do that. Anyway, I'll, I'll have a think on that. But uh, yeah, that was a success. I got some full pulls in. All the instruments worked except the tack. I'll fix that this week. And I'm not so sure about this, still at 900 even with the 9085s and that's that's pre-turbo uh, for the next run I'm gonna compare the two post turbo so I have a post turbo fitting right here but uh, we got Jimmy warmed up and got a couple good full pulls in yeah happy times So, uh, work in progress, guys. <laughs> uh, from a junkyard to a uh, test of concept. So, but uh, yeah, Jimmy ran really well. Uh, worked this week on hooking up an intercooler, um, trying to get a vent sorted for him. And with any luck, I'll have that done. So,. So I'll go home and figure out what kind of horsepower I made. Um, and then I'll post it under this video. So again, thanks for checking in. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care.